At Artisanal LA at the LA Mart in downtown Los Angeles, guests have the opportunity to browse, taste, and purchase handcrafted edibles from over 200 skilled vendors. Backyard Bite caught up with a few of them who were kind enough to share their story and their delicious goodies. First stop, Bon Puff a fun, fresh company that's putting a new spin on cotton candy. I'm here with Tracy, and her daughter uh, runs this company called Bond Puff, which she's going to tell us about it. Well, a couple years, my daughter, still in high school, had the idea to start a cotton candy business. And her fir very first idea was to put edible glitter on top and make it sparkly and princessy. And then that kind of led to a really ton of other ideas about what you can do with cotton candy and no one's doing anything creative with it there's cupcakes frozen yogurt but no one's really like taking cotton candy to the next level it smells amazing what does that smell it's sugar <laughs> but it's like flavored sugar yeah it is we start with um like organic cane sugar is the base and then all the colors are natural the flavors are natural chloe really crafts the flavors to make sure that when they're mixed and when they're spun that they really taste good they don't taste bitter or overpowering it's really delicious what are your uh, top sellers like what do people love mango chili is the most unique um today it's been strawberry and pear the strawberry is the pink so i think that's like the quintessential cotton candy feel for everybody. People can hire her out for parties and stuff like that. Store. She doesn't have a store or anything like that, so she's here at public, you know, public venues a um, couple times a year, and then mostly just for private events. Next up, I met Adam Dick of Dick Taylor Craft Chocolates, specializing in making chocolate lovers like me very happy. Uh, we're a small batch bean to bar chocolate manufacturer located uh, in Arcata, which is about five hours north of San Francisco. And uh, right now uh, in the U.S., there's probably less than 50 small batch craft style makers. So we're one of kind of a growing new wave movement of American makers. Explain for someone who doesn't know what craft chocolate is. Um, basically, uh, most of the chocolate that we consume in the United States, or around the world for that matter, is produced by a very small number of large scale commercial manufacturers. So. I mean, to liken it to the beer industry, basically what everybody's eating is like Budweiser, the equivalent of that. And what we see happening now in, in the chocolate industry is, is we've got like microbreweries springing up. And by, by really taking our time and, and spending premiums on really fine quality cocoa beans, what we're able to do is make a bar that really highlights the work that the farmers are doing in the country of origin. So each bean that we source from around the world has really unique flavor profiles to it. And by carefully and minimally processing it, we're able to really highlight that. We do everything with just cacao and cane sugar. There's no additional off-source cocoa butter, no lecithin, and no vanilla, which you find in virtually all commercially produced chocolates. So we're really trying to just stay true to what the bean represents. If you go to our website, we have a full retailer list. But yeah, we're, we're around down here and uh, yeah, always. Ever expanding, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Awesome, thanks so much. Thank you. And there you have it. I'm gonna eat chocolate now, bye. After some more shopping and nibbling, it was time for a coffee break. Love craft coffee but suck at making it? Never fear, civil coffee to the rescue. So you're like a coffee pop-up. You show up to like, let's say, somebody's birthday party with your gear and you roast espressos and really good drinks and you're there for like a couple of hours and... Exactly. Uh, we show up, roll in with our espresso cart, espresso machine, a brew some handcrafted coffee goodness and you know have a good time with everybody else we're a coffee events business we do all sorts of parties all sorts of private events weddings we offer a variety of roasters to our customers uh, it's actually a stellar list of Cova, Intelligentsia, Handsome, Stumptown, Verb uh, because they all offer a bit of a different you know uh, roast profile and it's, it's a neat little experience part of the experience you know yeah those guys are all the best they're all like craft uh, coffee makers yeah yeah, totally. And, and you know, we do our best to execute their coffee just, you know, the way it was meant to be. Uh, so, it's, I mean, we make it easy on, on everybody. We show up, brew some awesome stuff, and give a really good experience to the customers. It's pretty awesome. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of, like, a coffee, a traveling coffee pop-up. Well, we noticed that there was catering uh, options to people, uh, but not offering coffee like this. Very cool. Where can people find you? every Sunday, Fairfax Flea Market, and at your event. Those were just some of the many awesome vendors that Artisanal LA had to offer. Can't wait to see what day two has in store. Bye.